you know, people who say that it's cringy to uh, be in fandoms as an adult basically sound like they're saying, wow, you still enjoy things after the age of 18? Cringe. Sound ridiculous. Hey, it's Cecil, and it's Monday, and... uh, It's almost Christmas, a wonderfully stressful day to spend with family for the first half and a bottle of wine for the second half. A day to see your little cousin's faces light up when you get them the coolest toy ever that is even better than what their parents got them. A day to write cards to your grandparents that make them emotional and to open the cards from them that say, we love you, Merry Christmas. A time of giving, receiving putting a giant fire hazard in your living room. The thing about Christmas is that ever since turning 18, it's been difficult deciding what I want for Christmas. When I was a kid, when I was a teenager even, my mom would let my grandparents know, hey, <laughs> this this is this is what she wants. Christmas list. Uh, but after becoming an adult, I am now in charge of sending over my Christmas list. <laughs> Which, you know, is theoretically fine, but do I, do I look to you like someone who's good at making decisions? I hate making decisions, and on top of that, the things that I do ask for often don't end up being the things that end up under the tree. Big disclaimer, I am the kind of person who will love and appreciate whatever you get me, no matter if I ask for it or not, because that is just who I am. As an individual, I appreciate the thought and the effort. Um, this, this is not about that. Not about that. See, the things that I like and oftentimes want usually end up being merchandise for the things that I enjoy. Stuff from Dan and Phil's websites or plushies of my favorite haiku characters. You know, stickers, t-shirts. Simple but fun things to enjoy and to celebrate the things that I like. It's just whenever I send over a list that has those things, it it feels like she sees it and thinks, what the hell is a Deku? (laughs) And I get it. Not only is it cartoonish, so that makes it seem kind of kiddish, but it's also foreign, so I get it. I understand the confusion. So I've just kind of come to accept that, you know, these are not things to ask for and that's okay. I, I'm okay with that. It just means that I have no idea what to ask for. I have too many texture sensitivities to just ask for clothes willy-nilly. I don't need new electronics, and I've got pretty much everything that I need to survive. I mean, I'm disabled and not financially independent yet, so what's left? Pens and paper. Asking for notebooks, different kinds of pens, types of like sticker paper, an exacto knife, these kinds of things, they kind of have taken over the majority of my Christmas list in recent years. <laughs> Not only are they something practical that I will use, but you know, I love stationery. It's one of my special interests. I think it's neat. That ends up usually being the majority of my list. So it's always exciting to open these kinds of things up, and I'm sure that the excitement more or less shows through on my face when I get them. But how many links to different types of paper can you really send someone? I, <laughs> it just feels a bit silly. Not that it feels any sillier than asking for a Funko Pop of my most recent favorite Florbo, but, you know, <laughs> I'm basically asking paper. Uh, But all hope is not lost because I still have my mother. (laughs) Not only does she know and understand that between the autism and ADHD, I will always be enjoying the content that I consume at an above average (laughs) level, but she also gets super into stuff. So she just gets it, which means that oftentimes I don't even need to ask. She just kind of knows (laughs) the things that I will enjoy, which is very nice. She's a great gift giver as it is, but it always makes me feel seen to have my nerdy little hyperfixations appealed to when I'm opening my gifts. (laughs) I appreciate it endlessly, and 
it reassures me deep down that it's okay to still like things as an adult, even if no one else in the family completely gets it. <laughs> This was just a silly little rant because at the end of the day, like I said, I really do appreciate the things that are given to me. I mean, I'm kind of uncomfortable with the whole process of gift exchange simply because even though I know that it's just you get someone something and they get you something and the point is that you've gotten each other something, it always feels like what if they get me something better than I got them or what if they hate what I gave them and what if I don't give the appropriate facial reaction to the gift that has been given to me and they think I hate it but I actually like it I just have no control over my face autism with all that being said though if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below if there's any nerdy stuff that you either never get or are too afraid to ask for you can follow me in the links in the description box below including my Kofi, where you can maybe if you want send me some support this holiday season <laughs> be a bro share this video with another bro and if you have not done so yet subscribe because i make new videos every week usually <laughs>